When the Targaryens had dragons, it was because they had dragons. You can do anything you want when you have a dragon, including bone your sibling. When the Targaryens had lost their dragons, I think it was a factor of two things, inertia, and political stability. By then it had been going on in the family for so long that most people were just used to it. Welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. People also saw what happened when a wholly outside family married into the Targaryens, the Hightowers, and used that as an opportunity to empower themselves and kickstart a civil war. And while the Blackfyre Rebellion was not Darren's fault, per se, a lot of the resentment that led to it was the result of what people perceived as undue outside influence which is sibling marriage, might not look that bad if the alternative is the consort's family pigging out at the trough, or the perception thereof. When the Targaryens first came to mainland Westeros, people generally weren't thrilled about the whole incest thing. Since Aegon I was the conqueror and had dragons, his marriages were accepted. My guess is that after after Aegon I had two sons, meaning no sisters for his sons to marry, the people of Westeros thought the Targaryens were getting away from all that. Which is why it was such a shock to them when Aegon married his sister Rhaena. After J. Harry's passed the doctrine of exceptionalism, it sort of went away as an issue. But if we look at the Targ history, generally speaking, history isn't particularly kind to those who married close relation. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.